Well, I loved Roger's script, and after reading the script, I then read the book, and um, uh, which is, is Roger's done such a brilliant job of just capturing the whole tone and world that Daphne du Maurier has created, um, and it's just it's kind of so refreshing to read a story that is uh, complex and psychologically in depth, but kind of leaves leaves questions open for you to kind of fill in for yourself and. Um, and I think kind of as a reader or as an audience member, you sort of your um, it involves you so much more because you have to tie up the the end yourself. And I think that's interesting and quite rare now for films to do. After having read the book, like I had my own views on 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 Rachel, judging from like where. F thinking where Philip potentially is because the book is sort of so much from his kind of point of view um uh but then as a character as Louise it's kind of it's um uh it's quite different because Louise has her own emotions that uh, influence what she thinks and how she feels because she has uh you know she's in love with Philip and therefore cares about the way that Rachel is affecting him but also has her own uh, jealousies uh, about that and um uh, so yeah, it's slightly different maybe, but <laughs> <laughs> I was sort of led entirely by the nose by Du Maurier and and Roger's script. I think I I followed the route that uh, that they would have hoped I would. In that um, I really didn't fall strongly on either side. I was really held in suspense throughout of not not understanding what was going on, looking very alertly for any, any clues to whether she was whether she was benign or sinister and it really changes all the way through the story um, she's obviously such a breath of fresh exotic beautiful life that she she brings into this sleepy community and they're all mesmerized <clears throat> and transformed by her really and then little pieces of information start to filter through that make you uh, question her her motives but it's never, everything is, is uh, counterpointed by every time you think you're getting a hold on where she's coming from, and that, another piece of information or some behavioural thing will make you think, no, that, that, that can't be right, because she, she seems to genuinely have, a, have had a love for Ambrose, and, mm -hmm. and the will wasn't written over to her at that time, if she, she didn't seem to do to him what she, we think she might be doing to Philip. So it really varies throughout, and that's, I think, what the writer's intention is. I think it makes a difference of when the book, when Daphne du Maurier wrote this, which was in the, was it 50s? It was wrote, 50s, it? yeah. Um, and sort of, and a lot of her books are from uh, a woman's point of view, or they're kind of, the, the women are, uh, are sometimes a lot more kind of psychologically complex or questionable than the men. And um, so therefore, like Rachel is in this movie, she's not just a kind of, she doesn't stick to the, the, um, perceived rules of kind of the the, the in English middle classes, you know, she kind of um, uh, she um, and that's very kind of different. And I suppose that's that's what we kind of see as being modern, but mm -hmm. uh, maybe wasn't because you know you know we haven't changed the gender that much. Just maybe changed of how society is perceiving women. I've worked with Sam on, uh, this is I think my third project with Sam, so I feel like we kind of uh, knew each other quite quite well and that, so that was kind of nice, it kind of had this ease and I suppose might have works, works nicely well for Louise and Philip and uh, mm. kind of there's, there's something that we don't have to work on, you know. Yeah, I'd worked with Rachel um, a good few years ago on a, on a black comedy in Glasgow uh, called Beautiful Creatures which we had had great fun on. Um, so it's always lovely when your, your paths cross again. And Roger is someone who we've sort of nearly worked together for so many times, mainly in, in theatre, but also I think that we've had near miss and film-wise as well. But um, so that was definitely a big draw for me because he's, he's really regarded by a lot of the acting fraternity, certainly in the UK, as one of the great actors, directors. And he's done as as much work at the National Theatre and in theatre as, as in on, on screen. Um, so he's very, very good at wrestling with kind of complicated writing, psychological writing and uh, and nurturing performances. So he was, uh, you know, it was a treat to work with Roger. Mm -hmm.